Good morning guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all having a good day as always. If you're new to the channel, I am Travis, AKA the Brass Tack. I am a professional automotive detailer. I have over 15 years of experience and I'm here to help educate you on your car cleaning journey. And today we're gonna be talking about your gauge cluster or instrument cluster area. They tend to get really dusty and I'm gonna show you how to clean them properly without scratching the plastic or anything like that. So I'm gonna show you kind of how to clean that whole area right there and even probably the top of the steering column. So I'm working on my wife's Tahoe. So today I'm gonna work on that area and show you how to do it. So the first thing I'm gonna do is show you some tools and products you're gonna need to do the job. The first thing is a little trick that I use. I'm not really actually using any of my actual cleaners. All I do, I have a bottle of super heavily diluted glass cleaner. So this is just basically mostly water with just a tiny little bit of glass cleaner in it. And I feel like this works best for things like this because the actual interior cleaning product I have tends to leave a little bit of a film on your slicker plastic surfaces or your shinier plastic surfaces. So I actually just use a very, very heavily diluted glass cleaner. So basically, like I said, it's mainly just water with just a tiny little bit of glass cleaner in it. And that tends to do the job for me much better than an actual cleaning product on these instrument clusters. So that's what I use. You don't have to use that, but I'm telling you it works for me. The next thing you're gonna need is is just a small interior detail brush, something like this. You can pretty much pick one of these up at any auto parts store or Walmart or your car cleaning company websites. This one came from Chemical Guys. And then I just have a couple of microfiber rags to wipe things down with when you're done. That right there is pretty much all I use. That's it, guys. We're gonna go ahead and get set up and we'll pick back up. All right, guys, we are set up and ready to go. The first thing I'm gonna do is get the camera in here and show you how dusty this area really is. I know you can probably see the dust on top of the steering column here. I don't know if you can see it on the gauges. Of course, it's shiny plastic, so it's hard to see, but they're pretty dusty. So I'm gonna show you how to clean all this without scratching. It is easy to scratch this plastic, believe it or not. So I'm gonna show you how to do this without scratching the plastic. So I'm gonna set the camera down and we'll get started. Okay, guys, the first thing we're gonna do is I'm actually going to turn the key on put my foot on the brake. Obviously the vehicle is not on, just the key is on. So obviously your gauges are gonna come on. But what I do is I'm trying to get the shifting column out of my way. So you just bring it out, pull it all the way down to what would be manual mode in this thing for the paddle shifting. But it basically opens everything up to where I can get to it. It's important not to leave it on very long because that obviously will run the battery down. I'll turn the headlights off. That way I can have that down and the thing is not chiming at me. First thing we're gonna do is I'm going to take my detail brush and my vacuum I'm going to kick up all the loose dirt and dust and suck it up in the vacuum before we actually do anything else. Okay, that's done. And the importance of that is to basically get all of the loose dirt and dust off as possible because if you just leave all that stuff on there, you tend to just be wiping dirt around. So you wanna get all the loose dirt off and then you can really get started. So now we're gonna spray our heavily diluted super light glass cleaner onto everything in this area. And one thing you probably noticed when I was vacuuming, I had the detail brush and I was brushing this clear plastic, but you'll probably notice that I was not applying much pressure at all because I do not want to scratch this because I have done it to people's vehicles in the past by accident and I learned very quickly not to do that so we're just gonna spray no it doesn't hurt to spray liquid in this area you got to clean it somehow so okay the liquid has been sprayed and now we're just going to use our microfiber rags and wipe everything down Steering column too, because you're already up here. Now, here's the key right here. When you're wiping out 
all these little holes where the gauges are, you're wiping, but you're not applying a whole lot of pressure. That's the key, is not applying a whole lot of pressure because you do not want to scratch that plastic. Believe it or not, it is easy to scratch. I'm not showing you guys how to do the column or the turn signal controls or anything today because that's a video for another day. I'm just kind of wiping those down because I'm right here. But as you can see, it's coming out nice and shiny and clean. I'm going to get a little bit of product on my finger and wipe a little area that I see that's not clean yet. Sometimes you do have to use a little elbow grease. It's not a problem at all. You probably notice I'm not applying much pressure. I'm just wiping. Letting the rag do most of the work. But you want to make sure you get every little gauge. And that looks a ton better. I have one little spot right here that looks like something got splattered right there. I don't know if you can see it, but it's driving me crazy. So I'm gonna try to get something else to get that off. Sometimes it's really good to have tiny little tools at your disposal. All this is is just a tiny little screwdriver. And sometimes I have to use it if I need to scrape something off. But you just have to be very careful not to scratch the plastic itself. So I'm gonna work on this. See if I can get it to come up. Already it's starting to come up a little bit. Once again, I'm not applying much pressure because I don't want to scratch the plastic. Now, I'm going to go get a, an actual interior cleaner and wipe this tiny little spot off because I think the rest of it will come off with that. I don't think my glass cleaner is going to do that. So, Okay, I am back with my little bit of interior cleaner. I'm just going to spray a little bit on the end of my finger on a rag. I'm just going to wipe that area, dry it off, and... That splatter of whatever it was could have been some kind of soda or juice or something was splattered on there i couldn't tell what it was but it's gone now sometimes there's something on there that you can't get off with what you normally use so you gotta improvise and go grab something else so that's exactly what i did so i'm gonna go ahead and get that put back up get the key turned off and i'll show you guys the finished product as you can see all the dust is gone the gauges are nice and shiny the plastic looks really nice. I think it looks pretty good, guys. I don't know about you, but I'd say that's a pretty perfect job. I really hope you guys learned something with this. Like I said, sometimes you have to improvise and use something else to get something out of there that, that you don't normally use in, in that particular area, and that's what I did. But I hope you guys found this video useful. If you did, don't forget to go down below and give it a big thumbs up. While you're at it, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you do not miss any more of my content because you're going to learn all kinds of good stuff. With that said, thanks again, guys. Take care and have a great night.